Welcome, my name is Clara, and I'll be taking you through a little bit of a crow pose tutorial today. This is a great arm balance if you're just starting an arm balancing practice. This is usually the one that most people start with, or if you just want to brush up on your crow skills, this video is a great reminder. Hopefully you're warm for this video, maybe you've done a little bit of a flow practice, or at least warmed up your core and your upper body. Uh, we'll really be utilizing that today, and your body will be more open to the pose if you're already warm. Alright, let's get started. So for crow pose, the first variation I'm going to show you is launching into crow pose off of two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, you can use two books at home. And then I'm going to place a pillow just out in front of me, right about underneath my face. In case there's a little bit of a crash landing, you can fall towards it. Also, you might, you know, just want to practice uh, slowly falling forward and landing on your cheek, as opposed to straight forward on your nose. But no matter what, you aren't going very far. The distance between your flying crow and the ground is not much. So take a moment, take a deep breath and let's begin. We'll, we'll be super brave flying crows today. So I'm going to take my two blocks and I'm going to place them about hip width distance apart. That's about the size of two fists coming together like so between uh, your feet. And you'll find what's comfortable for you. Then I'm going to step up onto them. I'm going to point my toes slightly out, heels slightly in, almost like I'm a ballerina, and then I'm going to sit my hips low. Kind of like I'm in yogi squat, Malasana. I'll walk my pillow a little further out in front of me. And then I'm going to come high up onto my toes so that my heels lift. This can help me really bring my knees up onto my arms. From here, I'm going to plant the palms out in front of me. And then I'm going to practice just doing little chaturanga arms while letting my knees tap the outside edges of my arms above the elbows. Just giving it a little tap and shifting forward so you get that feeling of what it's like to tip forward. Now from here, I'm going to really actively press my knees into my arms. As I bend the elbows a little further, I'm going to gaze forward and then I'm going to lift one set of toes and then maybe the other. Bring the toes to meet and float. Press the floor away from you and release. So that's your crow pose. Now, if you notice that both sets of toes aren't lifting off of the blocks, just try it with one set of toes first. So it'll look something like this. We plant the palms out in front. I'm going to come high up on my toes so that my knees can come higher up onto my arms. Bend the arms. Begin to shift your weight forward. Gaze forward. Press into the arms. Press the floor away. And then I'm going to lift one set of toes. Tap them down, lift the other set. Tap them down, lift, lower, lift, lower. And then someday, maybe you're shifting all the way forward. Okay, without the blocks. Pretty much the same thing. Just takes a little more, possibly hip mobility, to really bring the knee up uh, towards your arm from the floor. So maybe you Play around with this yogi squat malasana a little more. Open up the hips. From here, when I'm on the floor, I like to actually bring my heels together, toes out. Like I'm, yeah, really like a little froggy ballerina. And then, plant the palms out in front of me. Practice your chaturanga arms. Lift the hips so that you can bring the knees up to the outsides of the arms. And then begin to shift forward, gaze forward, lifting one set of toes and the other, really drawing up from the low belly to keep the legs lifting. And release. All right, good job, y'all. I'll show you one more variation once I catch my breath. Um, this variation, instead of going on the outsides of the arms, we're going to bring the knees closer up towards the armpits. This is the version that's easier for me, but everybody is different, so it might be harder for you, it might be easier as well. Just going to depend on your body and what's going on with you today. So from here, I've got my heels together, clicking them like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, toes out, 
in my little froggy ballet squat. Plant the palms, lift the hips, and then I'm gonna bring my knees way up, almost like they're in my armpits. Shift forward, gaze forward, maybe one set of toes lifts, and then the other. Nice deep breaths. And release. Okay, good job, y'all. Give your wrists some love. And that is your crow pose. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy taking flight.